All right, so today we're kicking it off with another personality type, another temperament, the sanguine. The sanguine, the personality type of the sanguine is basically people that are very happy, bubbly, joyful. They are the life of the party. When they step into a room, like they, they capture the room because of their charm. They are very colorful, nice to be around. They're good storytellers, they're very good conversation uh conversationalists all right okay all right they're very good at speaking this helps them to have a lot of friends they're very popular you would love to be around the sanguine well most people would love to be around the sanguine because they keep you happy and most people like to be happy they've got a lot of strengths they've got a lot of weaknesses too their strengths are that if you're a sanguine you are very good with being on the in the spotlight you love the spotlight <laughs> you love making people laugh you love making people happy. You are very optimistic. You always see the good in things. Whereas with the choleric, the glass is half empty. There's more to be done. But with the sanguine, the glass is half full and there's water in there. We can drink it. Give it to the melancholic. This is not even a glass. That, is that even water in there? It's liquid, but is it water? And to the phlegmatic, it's like, oh, give me that glass, please. To the sanguine, everything is about being happy. Everything is about bringing joy to people's lives, bringing color to people's lives. They can make people laugh for days. They can tell good stories. They have that charm. They're just naturals with it. They make good hosts of events, comedians, or any kind of role that requires a lot of charm, like interviewing or something like that, something in the spotlight, any kind of showmanship role, like celebrities who sing, pop stars, do they call them? I don't know, singers. <laughs> They make good singers, they make it if their voice is good. They can own a stage, yeah, because that's their nature. Their nature is to shine. However, <laughs> their weaknesses, they can be very overwhelming sometimes. Sometimes you don't want people around who are just like, hey, how are you? How's your day? It's like you've woken up, you're tired. You're going to work on a Monday morning or six o'clock in the morning, you know, and then you've met your sanguine friend coming down the road and it's like, oh, no, so, <laughs> it's like no, so, let me pretend I can't see him, hopefully he doesn't see me and then they spot you, it's like oh hi, how are you, how are you John, and it's like, like oh please just give it a break, sometimes they can be overwhelming, that's how they are, you just have to take them as they are, another weaknesses of theirs is that they can be so disorganised, because they, they live life for the fun, sometimes that fun can be too much, that they don't get things done that have to be done. If you've got a friend who's sanguine, literally, they, they do work, <laughs> coursework on the deadline day. Very often, if you're sanguine, you, you've lost your keys like a hundred times and then you found them, I don't know, like in your fridge. If you're sanguine, you've probably purchased about close to four to five oyster cards. If that's you, click like and leave a comment. Or if you know someone like that, listen, share this video with them. If I could describe an animal as a sanguine i would probably say a monkey i'm not insulting you i'm just saying that you are probably like a monkey all right because you're cheeky like the monkeys are cheeky if you go to a zoo different animals will be doing different stuff the monkeys will just be playing the buffoonery or the baboonery <laughs> but that's how they are, they just like to have fun. Everyone likes to look at the monkeys when they go to the zoo. Putting bananas in each other's ears and high-fiving each other and just living life like it's happy. It's good to be around the sanguine. They can really help you. And they're, they're, the monkey is very instable, it's like it's going from place to place and just making all, all this noise. That's a sanguine, sanguines. Sometimes they can do too much. They're doing the most. I think that's a quote that, that goes for them. You're doing the most. All right, a scripture concerning sanguines. The Bible says our God is not the author of confusion. Sometimes you can be so excited, so happy-go-lucky that you can end up looking confused, all right? So add a bit of God into your fun and make yourself more organized. If you are someone that is all over the place, try your best to just do what you can to enhance your organization skills. It will help you, all right? If you're married or you're in a relationship with a sanguine, you're likely to have fun, but you need to be someone that will be able to help them with their organization. With personality types, you tend to predominantly be one, but you can tend to have the, the traits of maybe two personality types. I am sanguine and phlegmatic. I've had to adapt to take on the strengths of other personality types that are not mine. I'm married to someone who's the complete opposite. Whereas I'm phlegmatic and sanguine, my wife is uh, melancholic and choleric. So we bounce off of each other, as in the strengths that I have, 
help her weaknesses. So whereas I may not find the most joy in organizing stuff and remembering stuff, she helps me with that. Have you got this done? Or remember that you said you had this? Obviously she's my personal Siri, you see what I'm saying? Like, but with that said, when she can be a bit of a down mood or something, I tend to cheer her up. I can make the most serious moment, like something to laugh at. That's what the thing we can do. The thing we can take the most serious moment and have everyone just busting up. And sometimes you need that so that it's not too much um, gloom in the room or it's not too much depression, you see what I'm saying? In the session, <laughs> I'm rapping, boy. <laughs> so if you're with a sanguine, make sure that you, you adapt to, to their, to their happy-go-lucky lifestyle. Help them, but then learn to live life and have fun. If you know any sanguines, share this video with them. If you're a sanguine, you know what to do, just live life, all right? Until next time, this is your host, King Nana.